Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here with a look at the new Tau Pathfinder team. Uh, the plastic kit everybody's uh, definitely been waiting for. As you can see, it comes with a couple different uh, drone options there, as well as some different weapon options for the uh, Pathfinders themselves. Uh, this might give you kind of a better look at what's uh, what you could possibly get in the box. You can only make three drones. Uh, you can make the two the two new prototypes, or you can make switch them out to be either shield drone, marker drone, or gun drone. So those are your options there, and of course you can always make the recon drone, which uh, if you haven't seen it yet, this actually slides into the double fish. This uh, barrel flips up and it slides into the double fish. Uh, Coppola, Coppola cockpit, whatever you want to call it, on top turret ring. Many names can be given to this this particular place on the. Uh, on the double fish. All right, well, let's take a look at this sprue first because this one was the uh, the coolest looking, in my opinion. So here we have, uh, which is going to be the top of the recon drone, the body of the recon drone, and then the burst cannons, which kind of flip up and down. Uh, then you can also see the normal parts for the other drones and some of the parts uh, to make the prototype drones as well. But what you'll notice is that there's also rail rifles and ion uh, ion rifles as well. Uh, included with this kit as well because you can actually equip them thusly uh, which is kind of neat but you don't get a whole lot of them you actually get three of these there's uh, there's one on the other sprue and only two of these so it's just kind of gonna have to do some uh, some horse trading or some bits buying depending on how that goes here in the near future to pick up uh, pick up what you need depending on how you want to equip your squad uh, this sprue here is just basically mostly bodies heads uh, legs You've actually got a uh, pulse carbine for every model in the squad. The actual kit comes with 10 models and 3 drones. Uh, you can always make the recon, but the pulse uh, pulse generator, the, um, uh, what's the other, uh, I always miss up this one, the, the, the gravity one, the one that uh, repels assaults a little bit, D3 or whatever, uh, that one, or you can make the marker drone, gun drone, or shield drone comes with two rail rifles and three ion rifles and of course you get everybody can have a carbine with a marker light designator that's kind of their thing I like these torsos here uh, they're a little bit different than the normal fire warrior torsos I don't know if you can see that yeah you can kind of see that they got a little little something going on in the back there and then of course the helmets themselves are the longer uh, I like to call them Death Star Gunner helmets kind of the guys that uh, shoot the laser on the Death Star but other than that, it's a pretty cool kit. I mean, it comes with a lot of pieces, and I think uh, I think these guys are actually going to be pretty uh, pretty important in the actual list themselves. Now, don't get me wrong; the Fire Warriors can take uh, uh, can take a marker light with uh, target lock as well, and kind of switch uh, switch out their targets um, from what they're shooting at. But it seems like these guys are are kind of the way to go. Uh, it's, it's trying to get marker lights on stuff, which seems like uh, it's a very good idea, even now in this. Uh, this edition. So uh, that's just a quick look at the Pathfinder team. I was going to do the Crisis Suit team, the three pack, but it's literally the same as the Crisis Suits that have been around for the past 12 years. So we're not, we're not really going to show those ones off. Um, let's see. Next up, we have what do we got? The Cadre Fireblade. Uh, just a little single clan pack figure here. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing with that bonding knife, but. Uh, it's very interesting, uh, and I'm not going to open this because this is actually uh, one of the shorted items from this release, so somebody will be getting this. But you can kind of see pretty cool parts in here. You got the body, multi-part body, um, pulse rifle with a sight, extra single shoulder pad. So it's a pretty cool looking kit. Or you can maybe use this to make the uh, the Dark Strider, the uh, the Super Pathfinder guy. I guess you, he wouldn't need a pulse rifle though. Either way, it's pretty pretty cool looking. I mean, if you want to pick them up. You know, it's kind of worth it. If not, you know, then I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of one of those impulse buy guys. Uh, here's the broadside kit that everybody's been talking about. This this guy looks ph phenomenal. Uh, there's your missile pod drones, which caused the big FAQ uproar. Uh, and then you've got them, uh, got the normal one equipped, equipped with the rail rifle, as well as the uh, twin link plasma there. And then you've got your twin link missile pods here and your high yield um, missiles there. Like I said, an amazing amount of firepower, 30 plus shots, 
uh, can be put out by this guy at 36 inches, uh, which is just kind of ridiculous with the two up save. Wow. Uh, you can also equip them with a seeker missile. Here's the particle accelerator for the, uh, um, what is it, the, uh, gosh, rail rifle. Particle accelerator, uh, accelerator for the rail rifle. It's got a little cooling system underneath it. Uh, depending on which variant you run, obviously you would need to put that on the, uh, the missile variant. But let's take a look at the kit. Uh, they're going to come with all sorts of cool stuff. You get a couple of uh, stands. Uh, interesting enough, they're on a 60 mil now, which is going to throw some people off. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that how the community takes to that one. Uh, and then you've got the uh, oh shoot, some flying stands. Okay, and then you got the sprues themselves, which right here you can see the uh, the rail rifle right off the bat. You got your pulse uh, or your plasma guns. Uh, then your missile pods, your high yield missile pod kind of system here. Uh, then you got the two drones, and of course this kit you can make. A whole bunch of different drone variants, but you only come with two. So you got your. I'm not exactly sure which ones because they don't really show us. Oh, these are actually support system. Yeah, these are support system here. Like I said, they don't they don't really show you what the support system um, look like. Besides, you know, we know what the multi tracker and the target lock look like from the last edition, but we don't really know what these are specifically. But they're in there, and you can put them on your stuff. Uh, seeker missile. Uh, what else we got here? That's cool. Nothing too crazy. Oh, uh, the kit actually comes with three heads as well, uh, which I thought was kind of neat because the Forge World actually came out with some pretty sweet looking uh, heads there a while ago. Uh, here's the actual body sprue. So you've got the torso, your shoulder pads. Uh, this is the particle accelerator. Yeah, that's the particle accelerator there. Um, some leg armor plates, the actual feet, which are bigger than a normal crisis suit, of course. Cooling system. Uh, then you got the parts to make a marker drone or a shield drone, depending on what you want to do. Multi tracker, we all know what that is. Is there a target lock on here? I don't see a target lock. Uh, and then you got some other support system bits here that nobody really knows which ones are which. Oh, you can make a normal gun drone too, it looks like. Very interesting. Well, anyway, so uh, that's pretty much the kit. Uh, two screws, it comes with a lot of things. You can make it a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, get a couple drones out of it as well. So, uh, pretty neat. As far as the uh, broadsides go, obviously I'm, you're probably going to see people filling these in threes just because when you can put out, uh, you know, 30 plus strength 7 shots at 36 inches, there's, uh, there's a lot to be said for that. <laughs> um, that's it for this video. I'm going to do the, the flyer in a separate video because it's kind of got a lot going on with that too. And I want, the, I want everybody the opportunity to kind of see whichever video they want. Um, because there's so much going on with this release. So we'll be right back with that one. Spiky bits.